So don't mind my hair. I just woke up. Um, we made a call to National Tattoo Supply out of Allentown, Pennsylvania. And we are going to be able to get grips from them. About three quarters of the way to Pennsylvania, I remembered, oh shit, I left my grips in my ultrasonic cleaner in North Carolina. So we got up this morning. Rachel's getting dressed. I'm about to get myself ready and pretty and we're gonna run out to Allentown and get some grips. listening to Jelly Roll that says don't get so consumed fighting alligators that you forget to clean the swamp and it wasn't until today I had a little bit of a disagreement with my wife and during that disagreement we talked it out at the end of it I realized I'm allowing one problem in my life one issue to dictate everything else in my life and that's what that quote really means. Don't be so consumed with one problem or even a couple of your problems that you forget to live life. You need to live your life to the fullest and enjoy it. That is priority number one. All the issues and dealing with the problems that it brings, that's a minuscule part. In my life as example, we're going through this custody case and that causes us to have so much added stress and anxiety. And as a result, it causes us to maybe be short with each other or not see the other person's point of view. And everything we do then links back to that issue. Like if we do this, how will it affect our case? And you can't live like that. You have to live your life to the fullest and enjoy every bit of it. I hope every one of you remembers to Clean the swamp. Don't just fight the alligators. So, that's all I got to say on that. What's up, everybody? So, today is day three of the trip. Um, we're going to go out today and check out my old house and see if we can walk around the property, get some stuff for you guys and for the kids. Um, I think it's going to be a great bonding experience for both my kids and me and me and my wife everybody because they've never got to see where i grew up in depth we've drove by it but this is going to be really awesome to walk around so hope you guys have fun and enjoy everything and we're gonna get this day going so let's get it so here we go we're headed off to get some footage at my old house um First, we're gonna get some Duncan, and then we're gonna go to the house and see if he'll let us walk around the property and show you guys where I grew up, tell you some stories, all that. But for now, 
We're just headed there. Being quiet for the cleaning lady. I gotta remember to look over at the lens so I'm looking at you guys. Not just talking, but boom. <laughs> I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Why you be all in my line about nothing? Why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hang with a who line for nothing. I see that we different, you ride and I dub them. I don't do discussions, I'm bragging about hundreds. Don't go to your places, I know that they sunken. Don't call me your brother, I barely could trust it. I talk to a shorty, she bagging the bugging. And I'ma need all of my dollars on corporate, so hand me the money, I divvy the pie. I'ma give all of my people a portion to build them a fortune, I'm flipping the ride. I can't be mixy when iffy the vibe. And 40 on 50, it's really the time Why are you all on my phone like you want me? Like you wasn't pushing the kid to the side I don't know if you thinking I'm blind Cross on my crosses and dot on my eyes Done with your efforts, I'm dealing with pressures I know it's a lesson, that's word of the wise Dubbing the mixes, I'm mixing I know I've been missing, I needed some personal time Full of pictures, dimensions, I don't with your digits I mean it, I'm staying inside Cause they got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them, I run through the money, the press will be calling Alright, so we got the approval and Penn let us walk around the property that I used to live on. That's so cool. So this is actually the house that when I got in trouble and arrested, it was right here. Um, I came down through this field right here on the four-wheeler and the cop came up the driveway right here and got arrested right there in front of that tank. So... Um, changed my whole life got me on the track. I needed to be on for the most part Made me know I didn't want to go back to being locked up, but spent a lot of time having fun and Just growing on this property And to be able to share it with these guys now and let them all see it even Rachel. It's just amazing like I'm just so emotional even just seeing it all And how much it's changed and it's just the greatest time of my life was living on this little hunk of land but get tough man, get tough so up here on this mountain was the scrap pile pop would always collect and we'd go up there and pretend that we were scavengers or the wilderness family or whatever but as a kid we were always doing something Right here there was a sand mound. I think it's actually on the other side, but the ground is raised up over it. And we would come flying down this hill on the four-wheeler with my brother pulled behind on a lawnmower frame. And we would hit that <laughs> jump and I'd look back and he would be on it like a kite flying through the air. But it's just so many good memories coming back and I wish my kids could have got to grow up here and experience everything I did. But that's the storage trailer. That's where we we used to store stuff in there. Me and my brothers and sister would always come up here and sneak in there and go through shit we weren't supposed to. And we just had a lot of time that we just went on our own little adventures. It's just crazy. It's crazy to see everything and how much it's changed. A lot of good and bad. But all of it made me who I am today. And But there used to be a bunch of cars that sat here. There was my grandmother's beetle used to sit right there where this little tree thing is. Funny story about these little tree things. We were driving around one day and Rachel thought it was a field of candles. But we would actually hook up a tub out of the scrap pile here to the back of the three wheeler or four wheeler and pull it all around this mud and just have a heyday. 
spinning tires and flinging mud all over the tub and fill with mud it was just fun back when kids were kids back when you actually played and had adventure and didn't just sit in front of a phone and had an imagination like did we spent so many adventures in these woods exploring and experiencing things like that our parents never knew about my second year of deer hunting i came walking up out of the woods down there where the pond is where we're about to go and into this opening and there was a deer standing right in these tracks. And I shot it and it fell. And when I went over to it, it started kicking and moving. So I tried to load another shell. It was a dud. I had no more, I had no more shells. So I decided to hit it with the stock of my gun. Busted the gun. The deer's blah, blah, making all kinds of noise. It ended up going from right here in these tracks to all the way right above Rachel's head down there. So right in that corner, it kicked and flopped and everything. And finally somebody came up and put it out of his misery. You can't really see the pond, but that pond right there, we used to kayak in and catch tadpoles. And we would take those tadpoles, and we had a little tadpole farm down on our porch. Until one year, my stepdad was mowing the grass, hit a yo-yo in the yard, flung the yo-yo through the side of our fish tank we were storing our tadpoles in, and they all cooked on the porch. Now, being the generous man he was, he left those tadpoles on the porch all day. And when we got home from school, they were cooked to the boards, and he told us we could clean it up as our punishment so crazy times we'll hit the fort we can hit it from this way too but so much has changed look at those beautiful ladies back there going on this trip and being able to do this right here has brought so much joy back to my heart that I thought I lost forever. With everything we're going through personally in our life, the custody battle, the attacks on the shop, our business, everything, all of that has drained us all so much. And I think this is the thing we needed, at least it is for me, to get back on track and make me realize who I am. Where I came from, the family that brought me up. Stop believing that we're these horrible people or that things are as bad as certain people wanna make people think. You're not that person. You know who you are. I know who I am and you just have to focus on that. But here is our pond. Where's the outhouse? Right here. There's the outhouse. Old wooden outhouse. Who wants to use it? I will. Kaylee, why don't you want to use the outhouse? <laughs> Daddy. Daddy, you must have thrown a sign in there. It says, if you take a dump, spray this on the hump. <laughs> This pond is way deeper than it was. I mean, it still comes up, but you can tell it's been raining a lot. It's just so beautiful. No, there it is. Oh my God. It's crazy how much changes, but how much really stays the same. Seeing all the different things that are still here, that were here when I was a kid, just grown up and different. Kind of like this old bench. Although it's old and falling apart, all its pieces are still here. It's kept them close by. Still offering a seat to anybody who may be tired. It's, it's crazy I don't have a lot. to me. Just seeing these two entrances to the woods up here 
where Pop took me hunting the first time. Kind of sucks that I'll never be able to take my boy hunting on this same property. You know that picture that we have of me and Pop fishing? Yeah, it's right there. It's right there. Well, right here somewhere. It's right here because then Mom, whoever was taking the picture, was like right here. And they were like right here taking it. Mm hmm So, let's walk back in the woods a little bit. Grandpa Gable's up here somewhere under a tree. Where is this? Caterpillar. A little tree worm. Look at his face. Oh, let me get a picture. Pick up the leaf that he's on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got this. <laughs> Yeah. Just pick them up Just and put them on something. Just set them on the tree. Mm -hmm. It's probably dead when you bounce them around. <laughs> Grandpa Gable's up here? That ain't even a worm, is it? Nope. It isn't. It's a fucking leaf. It's part of this tree. <laughs> and Logan's like... <laughs> Freaking leaf and Logan's scared of it. Oh my god. I think yeah. yeah. Alright, so... This tree stand right here, I shot my first deer out of. We were walking up into the woods and the deer were all standing around the tree stand, so I shot one. It fell, hit the ground. We climbed back up in the tree so that way my uncle could try to get a shot, thinking the deer may return. Well, while we're sitting there, the deer hopped up and started to walk away. I shot again, missed shot again and dropped it when i missed the deer didn't even move so i either shot this deer in the ear and scared it and it flopped around or i stunned it somehow but he almost walked away both deer that i've shot my first and second year were not clean kilts <laughs> but kaylee don't fall now those legs are still sturdy i don't know about that i mean he may have reinforced it but Yeah, I wouldn't climb up in there. What's your favorite thing about coming back to see? What was it? What's my favorite thing about coming back here? Yeah, to see. Being able to show you guys? No, I mean, like, I know that, but, like, what was your favorite thing to see? That bench. Probably the bench was a good one. just so beautiful there used to be a building right here right there where those trees are yeah. it's actually kind of like right in front of them and we would hit bats there were bats in the re roof and we'd hit the beam to get the bat to come out and then we'd be in there with tennis rackets and baseball bats and we'd smack the bats whoever had the most when they came out won this is probably the best experience I've had so far on any of our visits to Pennsylvania. I've driven by for years, never thought to stop and ask if we could walk around. And this time, got the doing the vlog, I got the courage to stop and ask. And to be able to catch all this on camera, the emotion of it's just, it's just amazing and to be able to share that not only with my kids but everybody that watches this it's just amazing I just can't get over everything and I really wish it was possible just to pack up and move back to this little chunk of property I would love that me too but unfortunately we, can. we can't <laughs> I have dreams sometimes about buying it back but I don't see that happening. So we just left walking around the property that I grew up on. It was so moving to walk around and see everything with my kids and my wife. But when we came out of the woods, Whitey invited us in to the house. 
and to see everything they've done with the place. From the outside, you see the grass growed up. You see it, it's, I mean, it's, it's grown up a little bit. But to go in, it's, it's so beautiful. And to see that the cabinets are still the same. There's so much emotion in inanimate objects. If you get the opportunity to go back anywhere in your childhood to touch and feel and see the things that you grew up with, take it. I can't express how good it feels to experience all that again. Better than that, to let them, Kaylee, Logan, your kids, feel those same things that you felt. I don't want to get too cheesy and sappy, but it really brings you a sense of peace and accomplishment and I just, I don't even have words. I don't have words to express everything I feel. And then for Whitey to say that we could hunt there and now I can take my children and camp up at the pond so I can take my children and experience even more of the same things I did in the same place. It's just, it's moving. And I hope you all get to experience that someday. Good morning. You're catching us in our rawest form. Rachel and Aaron getting ready. Woo! Kids, kids are in their best form, but woo woo. Took the day off yesterday, no vlogging, no nothing. We just spent the day relaxing as a family. So today, it's back to the grind. We're packing up from the hotel room and going to my best friend Tim's house where we will stay for the remainder of our trip. And guess what? Today we get Kaya! Woo! Oh, Logan! It always scares so me. scary. Stop, Uncle Kyle! Oh, oh, oh. I got a poop. Stop! I got a poop. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> Stop! It's about to come. Holy crap! <laughs>